Saturday guys. I probably won't be vlogging. I need to fix my top. What the hell's going on with it? Look at my top. How cute is this? It's Beauty and the Beast. I love it. So sweet. Oh my god. Excuse the mess behind me. I'm doing the recycling this morning. That's from the other day. So there's still recycling in the hall that has to be brought downstairs. I am a messy, messy so-and-so. I'm just having a cup of coffee. James made it for me. He's such a good boyfriend. I said that I would just sit down and just edit today's vlog, get that done and dusted, and go back and play Crash Bandicoot. I have completed 20% of it already. Like 20% of Crash 3, that's the one I'm playing currently. Yeah, I'm a fiend for the game. So I was playing it up to like 10 o'clock last night, maybe 11 o'clock. Then I watched Love Island and then we went to bed. The addiction is real. So I'm just editing yesterday's vlog, which I don't even know if it's gonna be any good because I don't even know what I was ranting and raving about yesterday because the excitement over the game just kind of took over my life. I hope that it's long enough, but if it's not, I'm just gonna stick it up anyway. Like if it's only 10 minutes, I'm just gonna do that. If my daily vlogs are five minutes, 10 minutes, I'm just gonna stick them up because merging two together is just not working for me. I'm forgetting what I talked about the day before, repeating myself and then it's just rubbish. So I'm just going to upload the daily vlogs or as much as as much or as regularly or as often as I can and I'm just gonna do them daily and this week I feel like I've done so much I don't know if it's because I'm editing and stuff like that I just feel like real motivated to work I don't know it's it's just strange like sometimes I feel so motivated sometimes I have no motivation whatsoever and I'm really enjoying vlogging again because I told you guys about the issue I'm having with my beauty channel and it's been really disheartening me over the last like four or five months and now the vlog channel is doing really well and people are watching and it's just putting me in really good form because I actually feel like I'm getting back to the love that I had once before for making videos and then kind of lost it over the last few months and now I feel like I've just found it all again so thank you so much to each and every one of you who are watching both my beauty videos and my vlogs or if you're only watching one or the other you're just making my day every day and thank you so much for all your lovely wonderful comments. Guys, after getting my hair done yesterday, I felt like I needed to talk to you a little bit about the purple shampoo and purple products that I use on my hair to take the brassy tones out. I never kind of elaborated on them and I know that they're of interest to anybody who has blonde hair. Well, you might find this interesting, so I'm just going to go through some of the products really quickly. In no way, shape or form am I affiliated or sponsored by Lee Stafford. I feel like I always have to say that when I mention brands because some people are like, oh, did they sponsor you to talk about them? No, no, no. If it's sponsored, I'm very open about that. One of my gorgeous subscribers mentioned to me that Lee Stafford is a cruelty-free brand. So happy days for those of you who only use cruelty-free products and you have blonde hair, you will love these. So I'm just going to talk about the products that I use, right? Well, the first one here is this bleach blonde golden girl oil now i used to use the shine serum but i find this one is a bit better it just takes any of the frizz out of my hair but i also find that it smooths down my hair especially because i've been bleaching it it's a bit more dry so if you have kind of normal hair you'll like the shine serum if you've kind of drier hair go with the golden girl oil this is my toner and i've talked about it a million times before but just people always ask and i think it's kind of informative just to kind of keep it in this video that you have there forever that you can kind of look back on the products if you if you so wish so bleach blondes lee stafford that's the one i use the toner it is very 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 pigmented it will turn your hair purple if you leave it in for too long obviously it washes out but it is so potent i love it and then the conditioner you don't need the conditioner i don't find like it does anything major if i don't use it but definitely the shampoo 100 percent and I use that to tone my extensions as well. Then we have these hot shots. Now these are basically an intenser form of the shampoo. Intenser? Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. It's more of an intense purple shampoo basically. And I usually leave this in for five minutes. My hairdresser put one in yesterday and it just took out all of the brassy tones out of my hair now i still have a little bit because i just got it dyed obviously so i'll have to tone it again you know just to kind of remove them once more but it did take out a ton of the brassy tones and then this product here this is the conditioning spray you just spray this in your hair when your hair is damp you don't necessarily need this i wouldn't 100 percent say you need it but i just use it just to kind of top up you know, the purpleness going on in my hair just to completely and utterly tone it. But 100% out of everything that I'm mentioning, these two products, 
the hot shots and then the bleach blonde shampoo they are like my holy grail they're amazing little sleepy cats i wouldn't mind you sleeping there only the fact that i cleaned down the couch to make sure that all your hair was gone and now you're back there again you have a bed harley harley's favorite place to sleep is on the couch and he has hairs everywhere oh now he's throwing himself off the couch <laughs> oh man where are you going dude where are you going, little dude? People probably hate <laughs> when vloggers show their animals so much, but I love him so much, so I want you guys to love him and enjoy him too. Because he's the bestest boy in the whole of Ireland. Maybe even the world, Harley. Putting away a bit of PR, and I forgot to show you it yesterday. And this is some eyelashes, or these are some eyelashes, rather. They're kind of like mink lashes, but obviously not mink hair. But look at them. They're beautiful. I've never had any of these styles before. I always get the Izzy ones, but I like the look of the Kylie. Look at the Kate, aren't they gorgeous? Then we've got the Amelia and the Kylie. Really like the Kylie, I think the best. These are definitely those, for those of you who are into your full lashes, they're gorgeous. So I can't wait to use them in tutorials. So this next package was from Kaylin Cosmetics. They sent me out their O Triple Palette. So they've got three. So we've got the shading one, the highlight one, and the blush palette. And Heidi seems to be quite interested in all three of them. For some reason, he's following me around. Halen Cosmetics sent me out the highlight one, which I'm very excited about. So let's see. Are there three different highlights? Oh, they're not very pigmented. They're not amazing quality. I'm not going to lie. They're not great. They're a bit powdery. So that's what the highlight shades look swatched. They're actually not bad once you swatch them. They're kind of nice, actually. They're definitely more suitable for fair skin I think they're gonna look a bit ashy on me so that's what we got that's all the information they're 26 euro I don't know if I pay 26 euro for that highlight these are where Kaylin Cosmetics is supplied so if you're in Dublin there's all the areas Kerry in, King, in Kilkenny <laughs> in Leash and Limerick and yeah I think that's it is there more on the other side oh yeah sorry god there's loads of places so we've got Loud in Dundalk I used to live in Dundalk, guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I grew up in Dundalk. One of my favourite places in the whole of Ireland. So there you go. There's Monaghan, Mayo, Offaly, Roscommon, Tipperary, Rexford and Westmeath. There you go. And if you want more information, kaylin.ie. Thank you so much, Kaylin, for being so lovely and sending me out that highlight palette. I can't wait to try it on my face. Thanks a million. The thing I got was my Look Fantastic box. I get a subscription box from them every single month. I absolutely love them. I only get one subscription box and that is this one one so look fantastic do one of the best subscription boxes ever i've found so many goodies from them and they send you like laura geller sometimes there's um I, what other brands have i gotten in it i've gotten makeup forever i've gotten tons of different brands very very good box so i will leave a link to that down below again i'm not sponsored it's just the box that i i get every month so these are what's in this month's box and you do get a list of all the products that are in it i don't mind showing you this guys because it's all already been sent out so if you did sign up for it you won't get this box obviously you'll get next month's box so that's what was in this month's box so we've got a toner here what is this a highlight pencil i got i love when they send skincare stuff that just makes me so happy minatika what is this sun lovers face sunscreen oh yes now this is right up my 